Hello, and welcome to How to Mod Star Wars Battlefront 2, Part 3. And today we're going to be going over basic texture editing in Photoshop. I have previously done a video on this for GIMP, and if you'd like to check that out, I'll put a link in the description for it. And yeah, that's... If you've already watched the other one and you know how to export the textures, you can skip forward in the video. I'll put a link to where it starts the Photoshop uh, section of this. Uh, but I'm going to do the whole thing over again, just for anybody who hasn't watched it. So, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to go with Vader, because I don't like the black on his suit. It's not really black. It's a dark grey, and on his helmet, it's quite matted. Not as shiny as I would like it, so I'm going to go over that. So, to find the character you want, well, I'm going to be going with Heroes. So characters hero and then you find the hero that you want and then they will have subfolders for every appearance Darth Vader only has one so it's zero one in a single folder then you want to go into that and there will be a textures folder so what you want to do for exporting appearances is click all the ones with C S um, in this case Vader has one with a C for his cape so you want to export that as well and just make sure you've got all of them. He has one, two, three, four, five, and I have five up here. That's cool. Now what you want to do is go and export them. And to somewhere you can find them easily. I have a projects folder inside my frosty frosty directory. And that is where I store everything. So uh, it just makes that easy. So, the next step is to open Photoshop. I already have it open for the convenience of making this video. And so, next thing you want to do is go and open them. Select them all and click open. Now, you will notice that they are partially transparent. And that's, that's what you want. That's good. But... For editing purposes, it's not so great. So what you want to do is go Layer, Layer Mask, and then go From Transparency. And then you'll get a second sub-layer here, which is the Alpha, slash Transparency. And you want to right-click on it and go Disable Layer Mask. Now, before you start editing the skin itself, or well, the colors inside it, you want to make sure you click this. Because if you don't, it, you're going to edit the alpha and it's going to make things very shiny or not shiny and you don't want to do that. So there are two ways of doing the colors. If you're changing lots of the same sort of thing like I am, going over it with the bucket tool like this isn't so great. It's very time consuming, especially on things like Vader's helmet where it's got a lot of smaller pieces like this. So what you want to do is go into Image, go to Adjustments, and then go Replace Color. Then click the color you want to change. Now, the fuzziness is what it's, what it's called. It's kind of like the Tolerance Filter. It will select everything of that color, um, but the more you have it on, the more of that shade it will do. So I like to turn it down so these armor parts, which are already kind of darker, are a little bit less bright. Um, and then you need to scroll this. Now, the advantage of doing it this way is that if you're changing lots of things that have the same sort of color in them, like Vader does, you can change it consistently throughout the whole thing. So if you just press OK on that, that's changed. Then you want to go to the next one and do the same process. The fastest way to do this would probably be like this, where you go across and change all of them before you do any editing. Uh, but it's up to you what sort of you do it in. And But with things like probably Vader's cape, you don't need to do the this method of changing it, where you go into replace color, but you can if you want. It's fully up to you. And so I did negative 75. I'm going to just copy that so I can just paste it and then press OK. 
and do the same thing for all of them. Nope, that's wrong. There we go. Now, something else I want to do with uh, Vader's goggles or lenses is make them red because I like the way that looks in Star Wars Rebels or I think he has them in Revenge of the Sith. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, but what you want to do if you're using the bucket tool is change your tolerance down to something like 1 or something like that. So it doesn't change everything because you don't want that. But see there I did too little. So I probably want to go with something like 10. And then there you go. Perfect. Changes the whole thing. Right. And then, you know, continue across all of your... Uh, images like so yes and last one sorry I keep going into the wrong menu ah yes <laughs> right and then before you export any of them you want to click the X on the alpha layer and have that happen. And then just control S to save it and then do it on every single one. Now, as I said before, I didn't like the matted feel to Vader's uh, helmet with some of the weathering on it. Uh, so I'm going to go and change that. So I'm going to use the bucket tool for this. I'm going to go into uh, tolerance and change it to 20. Ooh, or not. <laughs> change it back to 10. There we go. And just go and click on some of the larger parts of his armor. This just gets rid of the some of the whiteness on it. And yeah. And then that will change that. And to make it a little bit shinier, so if you go onto the alpha layer, if you have a black, it's going to do this and make it more transparent. And that's not what you want. You want to change it to like a light gray to make it um, appear a little bit more or completely white. We'll do that. That's not what you want. So you just want to change it so it becomes slightly more apparent. Just like this. Now, if you click in the wrong place, as always, you can press Control Z to change it back. And there you go. And then just save it. Save it. And then go back into Frosty. And because you've saved them, you don't need to uh, do anything. You can close Photoshop if you like. And then all you got to do is re-import them back. So, you know, Vader's armor, body, it says up here. And you just match the correct files. You can tell most of the time by the picture, but just make sure. You want to have the right ones. You'll notice when this one imports, they become slightly more visible, which is good. And that one. And then save your project, or you can just click launch to test it out. Right, so once you have your game started up, go into collections and view your character. And there we go. This helmet's a bit shiny or it doesn't have the weathering on it. Now, this is something you will see. Vader's cape is partially white. Now, I don't know why, but Photoshop does this sometimes. Like I just said, I have no idea why. You may need to just uh, re export the texture from Frosty and uh, use the bucket tool to change it instead and just make the tolerance like um, 50 or 100 just really high so it just covers everything because for some reason it 
just does this edge of his cape. I don't know why. But you can see on everything else, it's been changed. Nothing is shinier than it was. Sometimes with materials, you have them go really, really shiny, and that's not what you want. But everything is darker. His lenses are slightly red, which is exactly what I was going for. Um, if you have any problems with this, don't be afraid to uh, say in the comments. I'm very happy to help anybody who is struggling. Uh, also, I will put in my Discord tag for anybody who would like to message me that way. But uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe if you want. Uh, if you want to, you can leave a comment saying what you would like me to do next. I have a couple of tutorials planned, so hopefully you'll see the one you want sometime soon. If you don't, just comment and I'll uh, see what I can do about that. But thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.